Yo guys, right, to, well, for this video now, we're going to be talking about, and solely just talking about Black Ops 3 trick shooting. You guys may or may not know that I actually made a video that went on Phase Clan back in the, back when the beta came out, talking about, you know, how to trick shot on Black Ops 3, what you need, what you should do, and I'm going to kind of do like an updated version of that as well, as far as I have with what I have so far on kind of this game and just... You know, I'll give you guys an update, but this is only going to be about Trick Drone. If you want to know about anything else, you know, you can go back to my video I should have uploaded before this. Or, you know, you can. I'm sure there's hundreds of videos talking about an overview of the game. This is just about Trick Drone. Now, for, okay, first let's start off briefly talking about Free Fall Trick Drone. Now, this one is okay. You get, it's, it's similar to TDM if you get to last. Now, it's like everything the same with uh, Black Ops 2 Free Fall, except it is a lot... A lot more difficult to get to last, um, depending on kind of the lobbies. Some lobbies are easy. I reckon when the, everyone starts getting onto this game, when everyone starts getting on the release date, you will have a lot more, you know, a lot more chances to get onto last and hit a shot. The one big problem you're going to find is getting to last. Now, if you can snipe to last, hit 29, get a huge lead, fair play, good luck, job. You know, you deserve a medal. And I will personally present you with a 20. No, actually, no, I better not say that because <laughs> someone will actually do it, and I'll have to go and, you know, drive to somewhere and go get, give them a medal. What I'm trying to get at and what I'm trying to say is it's very difficult. I just, I just feel that it's unfortunately because of the, how this game plays and how the sniper is, it's going to be a lot difficult. However, boom, plot twist. I actually do know that um, there's a new, or I think there's a 2D scope sniper that's actually, I haven't unlocked it, it's level 40, so until we find out what that's like, I may have to make her another updated video to kind of explain and apologize and say I'll drop. But as of this moment, that is okay. Free for all is basically, you get as many attempts as you give yourself. That is pretty much how it goes. If you, you know, you get a good lead, you get 20 attempts, blah, 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 whatever, or you may only get four attempts. But you, you only need one attempt to hit. So remember that when you play it. That's kind of like with free for, and I suppose probably the same with S&D, make the most of your chances. I know it sounds really dumb and a bit cringy saying that for trick shots, but otherwise, if, you know, if you're know if you mucking about or you're just you know, trying to stun or you're not waiting for him to be in the perfect spot, you're never going to hit. I've played with people that are a bit like that, where they, they won't go unless he's in the perfect spot or they won't spin left or won't spin right. Trust me, on this game, when you get a chance, go for it. I sweat my absolute heart out there, and look, I didn't even get an attempt. So that's the problem you're going to have with this, is you get people that are just absolutely fucking cretins at this game. And just, they just know what they're doing, and they're just going to get loads of kills. And I know over time it'll get easier, and, you, and it's going to get worse. But this is what it's going to be like in a few months' time, because it, I know everyone's going to comment saying, you believe you're playing early, you're playing against all the people that are really bad, you want to try hard and try really good. True, but you got to remember, in two months' time, people are going to be as good as this, if not better, and we're going to have to dip... It's, yeah, free for is going to be interesting. Yeah, trick train's going to be very difficult. That's what I'm trying to get at. And that's a good and a bad thing. Good thing because, you know, when people hit fair play, it's going to be, it's going to start making clips or, you know, good shots actually become good shots again, if that makes any sense to you guys. By some miracle, guys, I've made it to last. I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, um, I just need a, there we go. Right, there we go. Okay, I made it to last, just about. I've, uh, it's still not very good of a lead. This is a problem you have with free fall, but I don't. I'm doing really well, and then just went downhill. Like I find myself doing that with free fall. I do really well, and then just goes downhill. But try and hit a shot. Oh shit! I didn't know he's got there. Oh, why can't I do that? I didn't know there's a guy running. I was about to jump. The problem I'm having at the moment is you're trying to find yourself like you're trying to get into a good spot. That's what I'm trying to find. If I can get into a good spot or in a good place, but I keep getting bad spawns. Now this map, you know, this map combines a brilliant map, but. It's almost better for team play game with TDM and S&D. Now, I want to make sure you guys know that like, I, I do agree with what everyone's saying with the fact we shouldn't use TDM clips anymore like we did in Advanced Warfare. And I agree with that. My, what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be using TDM clips for like episodes or anything like that. But I will be using that for like kind of, I know, videos. I do enjoy playing TDM as part of like kind of a video. But like I do say, yeah, I agree that we should be doing TDM. Free for all is so difficult. I, I, <laughs> there's nothing wrong. Uh, oh, oh I'm that. Nothing wrong with actually, you know, kind of. Uh, grind that free fall because it is pretty difficult. Now, I, I understand what's going on with the whole kind of 29 um, lobby situation and what I'm doing now, there's one other guy in this game that's a trick shot. I'm, I normally would have killed last by now but I'm kind of for the purpose of the video so I can just keep talking to you guys and kind of explain a little bit. I'm actually kind of just keeping the game going but I understand also as well the fact that everyone wants to Oh, please! The monster that obviously to get rid of 29 lobbies, which I can 100% understand. I think maybe as far, because what will happen very soon, I think everyone needs to understand, is that trick shots will flood free for all. That's what's going to happen, because free for all is so popular on Black Ops 2, they're going to flood in Black Ops 3. So maybe, like, to get into a non trick shot in lobby is going to be very difficult. So maybe, like, get to the point where, you know, if there's no more than one other person trick shot, like, one other person trick shot in the park after that, you know, end the game, because otherwise it's going to get silly. And I can, you know, let's be honest. 
Black Ops 2 Free Fall got very silly. But it was actually kind of enjoyable. I can't get to the problem with Free Fall, like, you, I can't get myself to a good spawn. I can kind of shit out of that, but my stun doesn't work. My stun didn't work. Stun, work. Oh. Look, you, you, you just can't go for It's so different. That's the problem with this. What's going to be the, well, the biggest challenge to this is actually one, get into a spot, and two, just actually go like going for the shot. I don't know. I feel I'm gonna go pr trick shot in private match for the rest of this video because I'm not getting attempts at the moment. I want to go play some S and D, but I have no one to play with. I have no friends, unfortunately. Okay, so I now decided I'm gonna give this a go. I actually really badly wanted to try this guy. Look how cool this is—a 2D sniper. Oh no, I'm just falling to my death. Oh no. But yeah, it's a 2D sniper, and it's it's pretty powerful. I think this could be really good for trick shot. Like, I don't know. I, I reckon it could be the one. I, Look, it just it's quick, everything about it, it's bolt action as well. I think I'm everything I've said may be totally invalid until we get this gun, but I'm, you know, we're not at that point yet, so <laughs> we're gonna go along with it. Oh, it's so sick! It's actually quick, it feels quicker than the locust. I don't know why. Damage wise, I'm sure it's better, but this is the one thing that really, you know, really kind of like annoyed me with um with you know this game. Is the fact that I couldn't actually, you can't knife and then like kind of pull it between when you bang, so when you, like for example this, and then bring out like a concussion or anything like that. I, I'm a little bit annoyed that you couldn't do that. Like for example now, it'd be perfect to do that. This is good. This gun is good. This feels like the DSR. I know that sounds really dumb. It feels like the Locust doesn't feel like this. Look at this for wall bangs and that. If you have a guy below you, this is actually, this map is actually outrageous. Absolutely outrageous for the map. How did I not hit? <laughs> this gun is so sick. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I actually come in. I, was, I wouldn't have noticed this. I would have, and I would have carried on just saying, oh, you know, the Locust is not the one. The Locust is a good gun, but at least there's another gun that's just as powerful. Like Black Ops 2, we only have the DSR, really. The Blister... Well, I wouldn't say the Blister is really that powerful. It's not. It's more of a sniping gun, really. Uh, you've got the XPR, which is kind of... It's powerful, but not... You know, I wouldn't say as powerful as something like this and the SVU which is like the other one with these other guns which I know for a fact is a two bullet kill I don't need to show you well maybe I'll show you guys that in a minute the one question that I or the one answer I cannot give you guys and I don't actually know is what is wall bangable and what isn't I pro so I think that, that I don't know that most things are wall bangable but unfortunately this game is so unknown I, can't, I don't have an answer like for example there's a guy in there I mean it could have gone through. I don't know. I don't know why I did that because I have no clue if it went through. I actually also hit a shot earlier, which I actually am going to show you now. So if you, it's not okay. First and first, it's nothing good. Okay, guys, it's nothing insane. It's I. The guy was kind of AFK. Well, he was, he was AFK for like that split part of the video. He wasn't AFK for the whole game, and it was a very big bell poke. So yeah, have a look at this. Only strength. Only victory. The shot itself was fine, apart from the fact it was about two feet in front of me. Okay. We got a shot. That gun is good. This gun is good. Okay. Now, I was mucking about for a little bit, trying to go for some stupid wall bangs to kind of give an idea, but this gun is pretty good. Like, okay, that shotgun as well is pretty cool. Like, look at that, the reload dim in the way out, but yeah, that gun's pretty accurate. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that sniper, and that's probably what I'm going to do for the next step before I make another one. I'm going to wait until I'm level 40 on, get that gun, make a video in it, everyone's happy. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like. I really will appreciate it as it's Black Ops 3. You know, everyone's happy at the moment. Everyone's in a good mood. Just drop it a like. I really will appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.